Good morning! This is the first show of the 2017 year, and we would like to thank you for joining us. My name is Henry Shanks. And I'm Anj Deshmuk. Today, we'll take a look at some of North's New Year's resolutions, reflect upon many celebrities lost in 2016, and give you some star tests, tips, and much more. We hope you enjoy our show! This, this is, is NTV! NTV. With any new year, we all vow to make resolutions to become healthier, nicer, more organized, and overall a better person. Rizan, Megan, and McKenna decided to go around and ask North, what is your new year's resolution? Every new year, we go around saying new year, new me. We have goals and resolutions like getting good grades, living a healthy lifestyle, and getting out of our comfort zones, and getting more sleep. We went around and asked students and faculty what are their goals for the new year. Uh, my new year resolution is to go to go work out six days a week. My new year's resolution is to start feeding my dog more so he won't die. My new year's, new year's resolution is to get outside more and play outside more. Um, mine is to at least get two double A times and three A times by the end of the year. To get better behavior in class. To take more photos. To me, New Year's resolution yeah, is it. something that you need to improve about you or something you want to just improve in your life. Okay, a New Year's resolution. You have a chance to be a better person and a new you. Um, a New Year's resolution means to me just like starting over and kind of like having a chance to improve your last year self. The start of a new year filled with many opportunities. It's basically time to turn over a new leaf, but better yet, be inspired to by the millions and millions of new year, new me posts going around. Uh -huh. But it's fine. This year, nearly everybody sets up resolutions, almost like a bucket list for things to do in 2017. First, let's start with things we want to accomplish. But things get in the way. Homework and other important things never end. At least, not this year. Things are crowding my agenda. I don't think I'll have time for this item on the list. Uh, what resolutions? I don't think I remember. It's probably too late to follow them at this point. Did that one game I want already come out? It's a new goal to follow. Um, isn't it only March? Weren't you working towards being a better person, or at least trying to improve anything? I'm content with how I am, actually, but since these problematic traits are apparently still here, it's worth a shot. And if you forget again... Ah, that's right. There are a few things that can help me with remembering to do this. There's always telling friends and vice versa so they can help you out. You can also set alarms around the time you wake up every day as a daily reminder. Wait, but why am I staying committed to this? <sighs> because change is for the greater good, whether it be for yourself or for the world. Nothing will change unless you bother to make an effort. Oh, yeah, right. This is for the best. Uh... Now that 2016 ugh, is over, it's time to look back. So before we truly start 2017, I think it's best we pay tribute to the celebrities that passed away in 2016. While we thought the following celebrities were more prominent, all those that want to mention still deserve respect and recognition. Starting with David Bowie, a famous singer, songwriter, and actor, died on January 10th after an 18th month battle with cancer. He was only 69 years old. Only four days after the death of Bowie, Alan Rickman, best known for his role as Professor Snape in the Harry Potter films, passed away also due to cancer and at 69 years old. On April 21st, Prince, an incredibly famous singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and record producer, met a sad end when he took mislabeled medicine at the age of 57. Muhammad Ali, a professional American boxer and activist, died on June 3rd after a fight against Parkinson's, a disease that affects the central nervous system, making it difficult to move. He was 74 years old. Last, but certainly not least, Carrie Fisher, an actress most famous for her role as Princess Leia in Star Wars, passed away on December 27th at 60 years old with an unclear cause of death. 
Ironically, her mother Debbie Reynolds, also an actress, passed away not even 24 hours after her daughter's death due to a stroke and possibly even a broken heart. Even though these celebrities met their tragic end in 2016, we will always remember them in our hearts. While these were the unfortunate moments from last year, we mustn't forget all the good things that happened. We had the Olympics, pandas were taken off the endangered animal list, India planted 50 million trees in a single day, the Juno spacecraft finally reached Jupiter, and the cause of ALS was finally found, so you don't have to keep dumping ice on your head anymore. Look forward to 2017, because it can't get much worse than this. You've all seen Ms. Zaire, our principal, walking the hallways and greeting us throughout the day. But are you aware that she was on leave for the first semester? Nevea, Sharon, and Kaylee interviewed Ms. Zaire to give us an up-close and personal look into her new dynamic duo. After giving birth to her two beautiful twins, Zoe and Zach, Ms. Zaire is finally back on North after her three-month maternity leave. Her twins, Zoe and Zach, were born September 12th with Zach weighing in at 6 pounds, 3 ounces, and Zoe 5 pounds, 13 ounces. While we know the time that she was able to spend at home with her family was precious, we are so glad as a campus to have Mrs. Sayer back on board. Well, it's very exciting to be back because I have been home for four months. So um, I went home on September 6th. I went on bed rest for about a week before I delivered the babies on that following Monday. So they were born on September 12th, and um, they'll be four months old later this week, so I'm very excited. But it is exciting to be back because after a while at home, you really start to miss the things that you love the most and why you get into teaching, and that's just working with kids and working with um, teachers and just doing what you love, and that's teaching and learning. So it's crazy. Like, I still wake up, and I think, oh, my goodness, there are two of them every day. I wake up, and... And I'm just overjoyed with just love and excited to have them. But at the same time, it can be a little scary because having two is not normal, right? <laughs> oh, she's a great big sister. Uh, many of you know Alexa because she would travel over from Ditton Creek every day and hang out here before and after school. Um, she's a wonderful big sister. I couldn't be happier or more proud of the way that she handles loving on her little brother and little sister. Zach and Zoe. Uh, going to a restaurant is going to be a challenge. Um, having to sit at a bigger table now. We, it's funny because we went out for the first time to Olive Garden with the twins in tow. Um, and it was pretty interesting making our way through the restaurant. The second funniest thing that's happened to us so far is making it to church and um, trying to find a spot for all five of us to sit because with them being so little, they're in these giant car seats. And if you don't make it to church on time, there's really not a lot of places to sit. And so that makes for an exciting um, and noisy uh, interruption to the service. So we'll try to be on time to church from now on. <laughs> We're glad to see Mrs. Zaire back at North and can't wait to run into you in the halls. Valentine's Day is just around the corner, ladies and gentlemen. With this national holiday quickly approaching, Annie and Chloe decided to give us some Valentine gift ideas for that special someone in your life. Hey you! 
Yeah, you. I heard you need a gift for your special boo. Well, I'm here to help you find your girl the perfect gift. First things first, let's head to Walmart. Forget those nasty fruit flavored chocolates. And get her a frozen pizza instead. Something she'll actually eat. <laughs> Avoid those big, boring teddy bears and get your girl a squid hat. One word, fashion. All right, so here's a quick lesson about cards. If it isn't funny or has no dogs, don't get it. If it's a funny card with dogs on it, you're golden. If you're getting her jewelry, don't get her anything dumb like magnetic heart necklaces. Get her something classy she won't return. I hope this helps all those clueless boyfriends out there, and good luck this year! Our methods for our learning environment has changed throughout each year. We as students and teachers have come across many ways to learn, such as interactive videos, presentations, games such as Kahoot, Peer Deck, Poll Everywhere, Quizlet Live, the list goes on. Our learning environment has grown, and here's what learning looks like at North. Uh, I think we need to use different, uh, different things, different ways to get our information across because not every student is going to learn the same way or learn using the same technology or the same style. Um, I think it's important because it kind of changes how people learn. It's not just the same old boring presentation or video. It's like Kahoot and Quiz, Quizlet, it's more interactive. Uh, people can work as groups and uh, it's just more fun for the learner. It's because everybody has a different way of learning, so if you teach in different ways, it'll help everyone. I think it's good to use Kahoot because it's a more fun way to do stuff and learn at the same time and have, and have competitions to try to beat your friends. We have used many methods to learn a new lesson, and we can't wait for what the future has to bring for our learning environment. Do you get nervous when you have to take a test? Well, with the STAR test coming up after spring break, we have thought how it would be a good time to give you some test taking tips that really may be used on any exam. Ben, Zan, and Corvin share their tips with us here. STAR tests are coming up and you might be nervous, so here are some tips to overcome that anxiety. The night before, go to bed earlier than you usually would, so you can wake up feeling fresh. After your good night's sleep, go get yourself a big and healthy breakfast to start off your day strong. Don't forget to grab a jacket on the way out of the door, just in case you get cold. If you are stuck on a question, skip it and go back to it once you finish the test. Every once in a while, take a quick break. It could be going to the restroom, taking a drink, eating a snack, or just taking a mental break. Make sure you have a book for after the test. You can now relax. Knowing all of these tips, Star will go by easily. Well, that's all we have for NTV today, North. Thanks for joining us. Please have a fun and safe weekend. We will see you next time. This, this is, is NTV, NTV signing off. off.